Well, we had a good wind yesterday, <laughs> but first. Last week, we experienced 60 mile per hour winds in a haboob. That's an Arizona dust storm right after setting up. This week, Chris is gonna show you how to make a hot dog great again. Chris and I love to eat hot dogs. Well, we had a good wind yesterday. <laughs> Guess it decided it didn't want Grizz's bed underneath the RV. Or his water bowl. That's okay. We'll fill it and put it back. And we'll put this in the RV, or in the uh, truck in just a minute. But first, I need to check Dishy. So, pull out the phone. Go to the app. And Dishy needs to be turned. And we're going to change out our old, faded, damaged, yeah, it's pretty bad, sticker for a brand new one. So that's the new sticker. Hey, baby. Hang on for a second. And the neat thing about the new one is that it's got a little magnet that holds it in place. So we can just leave the hook on. So now all I gotta do is just stick it up there and when I'm done, just pull it down. Pretty cool. And there are water features everywhere. Some are intentional and others not so much. I love these. Give them a try. You'll be in for a treat. Man, the cost of groceries are just gonna, no pun, eat us alive. We average 13 miles per gallon while not hooked up to the rig. Usually, I'm not particularly eager to wait till we get below half to fuel up. There have been so many things going on these past few weeks that I've pushed my luck. Wow, took 47 gallons. It's a 48 gallon tank. That's cutting it close. And yeah, about 160 bucks. So Riz and I love to eat hot dogs. And I found something online, I don't even remember where, that's a fantastic dog. It tastes great. It's not really the dog itself, it's the way you make it. So here's what I've got. Happened to find in the store some really large Safeway style jumbo beef uncured franks. And by large, I mean really big.
So I'm going to take the frank, and I'm going to prep it by cutting a few slices in it. Because we're going to add a little seasoning to it. Now, I love caramelized onions. So I'm going to cut up a little of what I've got left over. for caramelizing and in a minute I'm going to prep the hot dog bun and that's one of the specialties to this. Olive oil and I'll put a little bit of it in here I'm going to put the dog inside and let it do its magic I'm going to take our onion, set it right in the middle of that uh, plate, and add a little more grasa to it. Now that I've got the dog sizzling, I'm going to take my kinders, which is basically the blend salt, pepper, and garlic. And I'm going to add that to the top of the dog. I love just about everything on a hot dog. So I'm going to add some Roma tomato slices. Just two little steaks of tomato. Move this out of the way. And then to keep them together, I'm going to cut right down that big hunk in the middle. And I like pickles. So I'm going to grab a couple of big old pickles, move them out of the way. I'm going to go back and check my dog to make sure it's still cooking properly. And then my yuckins, my onions, are doing what they need to do. Then I'm going to take this loaf of French bread. This is what we use to make garlic bread with. You could use any loaf that you want. I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to cut off the end cap with a bread knife. And then I'm going to go back, whatever size I like, to cut a hunk out of it. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I'm going to put the loaf back in its bag because I'll use it again. We still have more dogs. I'm going to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to take my bread knife and right down the middle of the section that I cut, I'm going to make a slice. It goes about two-thirds of the way through. Which is just about perfect for me. Still watching my dog. And the onions. Onions. And the other thing I'm going to do is I think I got a slice of cheese left. One of those craft singles. And I am going to get the mayo out. But first, I'm going to flip the onions and the dog. I'm going to take some mayo and I'm going to spread it on both sides of this new hot dog bun that I have. Now this isn't a really big loaf. 
but it's super tasty. Put a little on the top. And some on the bottom. Set it back here. Mmm. Let it wait. The dog is about ready. And my mustard ready. Get some sauerkraut ready. And get some pickled jalapenos with a little potato salad. You may laugh, but this is delicious. Oh, my dog. And the onions. Off and set them aside. Take my bread. All right in the middle. And let it cook for a little bit. Get my cheese ready. Because my cheese done slid off my cracker. Grab a jalapeno or two. Close that up. Mmm. Very spicy. And shut it down. Bring this over to the uh, plate. Flip it on its side. Open it up. Stick a hunk of cheese in there. Grab the dog to keep it open. Oh, it looks so good. Grab the onions. Drop them on top. This looks so good. So this is going to fall off on the plate, but I'm still going to eat it. Got my sauerkraut. Got a whole lot of mustard. Pardon me, pardon me. Yes, excuse me. I'm gonna throw a little bit of tater salad on here. For that tater salad, a little pepper, a little salt. Whoops, sorry, buddy. For what it's worth, since I started cooking them this way and doing that big hunk of bread like that, I have never gone back, and it's just been amazing. But, of course, my best friend has to eat with me. Yep, there'll be a lot of spillage here. But that's okay. This is just outstanding. If you get a fatter loaf, <clears throat> and you make the bun with that fatter loaf, you won't have near as much spillage as I've got. This was so doggone good, I hardly know what to say.
definitely makes you feel like you're right at the ball game.